mic. So there we go. <laughs> no, it looks good. I, yeah, we talked about. It. I can't. I hadn't seen that commercial. Yeah, that was their last one they yeah. did. That was the. I'd the seen the other two. Are... The other two are very, very much more in that horror. Yeah, they're they're, they're a little balanced. Though. Mm-hmm. They got some more balance. It's not like you know, it's not like a straight horror film, but it definitely has more horror overtones. Whereas this one is definitely it has like comedy. I think a lot of it's the at, some of it's the pacing. Actors maybe too. They have uh, the actors there. are definitely yeah, <laughs> but I think it's pacing and music just for as far as the trailer, what changes mm-hmm. the mood. Because that one is like, boom, boom, boom. And that's what an action trailer is, I feel like. It's like, bam, right in your face. Like, scene of action, dialogue, and quippiness. Scene of action, dialogue, and quippiness. Whereas the other ones were more of like the horror one, where it's kind of like slow, like, dude, dude, Don't know where he is. Where is (laughs) We got this thing. This thing. And they sent it to a kid. Oh, a kid? I did like yeah, that. I was like, sure. "What's going on there?" That was a little weird. So they we'll see. Kind of looked like they just threw that all out, and then like kind of. I, don't I know. wonder if that's just a tiny scene, though, like a tiny setup scene. It's like, okay, we got this from your brother. Well, why? Dun, 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 you know, flashback to story. But I, I couldn't tell you honestly. Yeah, it's like, not supposed to be a reboot or anything. I've heard. I heard it's supposed to be yeah, like just a direct sequel from one and two. Which it, which would be good. I mean, I'm definitely not opposed to that. I'd like to see more. Uh, Predator and Alien stuff. They did the same thing for Predators when that came out. Kind of connected it to Remember Chris. Yeah, it was they just that slight. About yeah, the Arnold jungle, and his team yeah. getting demolished. Yeah, they have like things, and like I feel like it's good because they keep the integrity of the universe without actually directly interacting with the story, right? Mm-hmm. You never see characters, even the Predators don't go from movie to movie. Yeah. And so, except for, well, no, no, even I in Alien. I say the original one from Predators. Does but that know? wasn't even the same one. It right, was just yeah. all it was is the same mask that right. he wore from the first one. Right, it's all the same mask and the thing, so it looks like we could, maybe it was, but I don't think it was. I thought Arnold kills that Predator in the first yeah, one, Yeah, he right? did, yeah, because yeah, so he then... blew himself up, and then that was it for him. Yep. Because he could, uh, yeah, because he actually smashed him with that big old log. That's yeah, like remember, the well, yeah. and then he does the thing. And then he blew, yeah, blew himself up, because he's like, oh, I can't Which is it cool, like, that's one of their, like, Defining trait things that has been Make sure you real. can't take anything from us. Mm-hmm. Which makes me a little... Wondering. I'm like wondering how they have some of their stuff It's gotta already. be something. They must have either bested one, because it's not like they're invincible, mm-hmm. or something happened to him, like in the Alien vs. Predator. Remember, she like gets beat up by the alien. She goes and takes oh, yeah, his yeah, yeah, stuff or whatever. Too. And then they mark her, because she did the hunt. Yeah. You know? Which I thought that was like one of my favorite parts of that, is because like the Predators are... Hunters, yeah, they, they don't care. They have this uh, code of moral, basically. Yeah, yeah, it's very, um, very. If you watch him in the second ritualistic one, where that one yeah. girl who's pregnant, he chokes yeah, he her, doesn't kill and her. He looks and he's like, "Oh, I can't kill you because it's like in my code that I should not." Well, kill. and it's one yeah. of the hunters' things. Like that's what I love. They go after the hunters' code: don't kill pregnant animals because you're damaging the ecosystem. You're, you need to let them grow up, then kill them. Because <laughs> that's, that's the logic. Yeah. It's like, then you don't kill them. You don't kill him pregnant because you need more. You need the prey to keep coming. Or even like with Arnold when um, he's fighting him. With, well, before he fights him, he kind of looks at his skull, you know, just to see like, is I really, is this a good trophy? Is this going to be my, like, my last worth hunt to get? Yeah, it's like, like right. I think that's good. They, they give them a sense that they're not just these random alien beings with undiscernible motives. They're very purposeful yeah. and like driven and like, it's very interesting that way. I can't remember. They did Predator somebody else where it was like them teaming up with judge dread or something oh yeah that was the alien versus uh predator, predator versus, versus judge, judge dread, dread. Yeah. that, that, that one, one they they have a code and they do work with other people sometimes it's just when you're their prey you, you know you're their prey and so i definitely think i mean we could break down the trailer a little bit it predator looks dogs. like that was cool the predator dogs the big predator too i'm i'm just curious like i think what's that's going one on? that's been made by us maybe that like would it. be interesting that could be what it is and that would that would be a good one that's a good idea for that. That's definitely something I could see as believable. I, I just did, did. I was just like, Where is he well, because <laughs> I, because I hadn't seen this one either. So like, I didn't know they were like mm-hmm. labbing them up and like breaking them down and like, oh, these are predators. And you know, the, in the past, the predators are more of this, oh, what? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, they're back. Oh God, we got to find them while well, we still can. Cause we can't catch them. And yeah, definitely an interesting amount like that. Hey, what's up, Leo? Thanks for joining. Leo. Right. And uh, yeah, just all around good stuff. I think that this month is, or this week is again one of those weeks where we're not having the heaviest flow. Like, we could talk about Iron Fist. Yeah. Talk a little. Well, I mean, a little bit. You have a little bit more. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is, like, I can talk about it, but it's too soon for spoilers. Yeah. Too soon. Way too soon. 
And, like, realistically, most people probably even haven't finished watching it because it's only came out Friday. So it's yeah. been two yeah. days, and I binged. I haven't I even like finished. I feel like it came out last week. It just came out this Friday? Yep, Friday. Oh. Hmm. Just came out Friday. And, let's see, I like I said, I did a review. We have a review on the page, actually, for the first episode. Full of spoilers. Don't watch it unless you want it spoiled. Uh, that's our new series, the Hardcore <laughs> Casuals, where we're breaking down like se- seasons of episodes, episode by episode. It, this one, like I said, it's, it's interesting. This season of Iron Fist is. You said it's better though. I do like season. it better. I feel like the movement's better. You like, there's still problems, but like overall, I feel like as a whole piece, it's very good. Like, okay, that's good. There are parts where there's some slow running, or where you know you might have too much character development, or too. There's never too little, but there's like, there's a lot of scenes with Colleen and Misty, and with at, at and you're such to like, a don't point. Don't care for those characters. It's too just much. like you I don't. Be more it's not even about that. Like I like the characters, and they're even somewhat important, but there's just too much on time. Them. Right. It's more about. It needs to Tyler's be a little Iron more Fist, of a Danny. Misty. Right. Right. This isn't Daughters <laughs> of the Dragon. This is Iron Fist. So when we get Daughters of the Dragon, you can tell me Misty and Colleen's big story well, we want more, no more but they're, they're definitely teasing the daughters of the dragon that's so heavy they're mm. right because basically danny's and that's the only thing i'll say about this one this time is danny's kind of like useless like oh he, really in he, this one? he is it's weird it's not in the same way but so where's this take off is this right after this the takes defenders off show? yeah this takes off after defenders and it's weird because you figured they would i can kind of spoil that because it's not actually telling you what's happening it's telling you what's not happening so i can kind of confirm like some anti-spoilers i guess Leo says he hasn't seen it, and he's got Spider Man, but he hasn't played it yet because he's at a wedding. Yes, I am. All, we are both unlucky not to play Spider Man right now, <laughs> yeah. too. I, the funny thing is, I if maybe when I get some money, I'll go buy it because Vinny has a PS three down or four downstairs. I'll just go play it on his. My son has one, so it's not like it's yeah. Play. That's that's how, that's how I'm more. like right now. So maybe I'll grab it, but it's it's one of those things where one, I'm not in a rush because I'm not doing a breakdown for gaming stuff. Yeah. But two, it's going to be there, and it's one of those games where if it's good, it'll be like that the old 99 Spider game or whatever, the 2000 Spider <sighs> game. Ones. That one was probably still like, honestly, that's just one of my favorite video games of all time. Like, they, I, there I was a ton that. of stuff. I felt like I was Spider Man when I played that game. I know. that, And I think it was the open world fight. That was one of the first open world games. Like, that has that a very, fun. very open world. Man, I almost want to play it now. It was like. I think the thing about that game was swinging around the city as mm-hmm. Spider Man. They made it feel so good. And in fact, from the footage I've seen of this game, that game still did swinging better. Yeah, their swinging's pretty good. Um, what, which one was it? The Spider. I was watching a video too where they had said which one had the best though, and I think they were saying Spider Man Two, which was based on the movie version, mm-hmm. had the best one because uh, they had one guy who had an idea to do a better swing style. Okay. And it was more complex. It was like push this, let go of this button, and he lets go, and then he kind of. So they made it more complex. Yeah, and, he kinda... and I feel like that's good, but like I said, it also has to be like made it look like it was actually too more physics based too. Yeah, and game. that's and... that's what this one is lacking like the swinging feels fine but unlike like like i said even in that first one when you threw a web you swung kind of towards where your web mm-hmm. was going this one you can swing over here and just go that way <laughs> it just goes out okay it's it's a little off kilter in the the hatching on the other thing i feel like is like the buildings and this is something that's probably a real life that no it's not i've been to new york they're fucked that up uh the buildings they need way more buildings there's not much not there. enough the mm-hmm. and the height so remember in the first shorter. Spider-Man, you everything was pretty big, yeah. <laughs> now, not everything is that big in New York, but New York skyline is full of skyscrapers at a minimum of eight stories, ranging up much higher. Mm-hmm. And so this did not, from what I saw, did didn't not make give scale. the feel of New York. Now maybe it's even totally accurate or more accurate, but in the playability feel of it, it doesn't feel as impressive. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe not playability, but the looks, because I haven't played yet. Uh, besides saying that, I think it's still it would be no awesome big game. issue. Yeah, yeah, that's like a small part. It also oh, Spider Man ninety nine was amazing. Yes, please go Daughters of the Dragons, Heroes for Hire. I want them to go that way, but I've just I don't know if they'll be uh, gonna go that way though. I don't. Right, it's just one of those things where it's like, okay, do we have? No, I want to see it, but to, right. To well, really... and we seem to be getting. It. I mean, they keep redoing and keep being profitable or else they wouldn't make them right yeah. that's that's the number one thing we've learned of course people should know about these things if they don't make money they won't get made mm-hmm. 
So it must be making money. I mean, they're going to make the internal movie. Uh, Eternals? Movie. Yeah. And nobody knows who those characters are. I mean, let's see to be fair, th- But to be fair, th- and granted this thing, we proved with several characters that you don't have to be this popular no. character. So Black Panther and Guardians both did a great job mm-hmm. of having amazing, endearing scripts and things that were uh, just awesome. They were so good that it didn't matter that nobody knew who they were. Which is great. And I also think that, well, to be fair, they changed Guardians in a- to enable that. Mm-hmm. The characters were vastly more... Because they didn't more... do the original. No, they, did they didn't the even do the revamp. One. Yeah, they, they, did, they, they basically they reimagined. They put an Easter egg of the old school They did. But, they did the second. but that that would be my I thing. Is... Cyrus is actually one it, of the characters. Is she? She's That's... one of the computer, I think. Oh, the... one of the computer bots or whatever? Yeah, yeah the she... sex droids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. But yeah, that that would be my one big thing about Guardians, and the only thing people really gave shit to Guardians about when it came out is that it was not accurate to any version of the Guardians no. ever, which was fine because they were good characters, solid start. I, like I enjoyed them, I enjoyed both those films, and I still do hope we get a third one. Uh, but like I said, we've proved that we can come out of nowhere. Now we also have some failures in, like Inhumans. And uh, it was like a should have done a movie. I thought. Really. I think it would have been better for a movie. It was too much uh, money for the production through. A they probably full wasted, yeah. They wasted more money on probably doing the show mm-hmm. and then ended up not even being good. Yeah. And so because it definitely wasn't good. It's, like I could watch it, but it got a six out. I of told 10. you I didn't even finish that. The yeah. first two episodes, I was like, I didn't even catch on it because it was just. Mm-hmm. I guess it was just not that appealing for me to come back into and finish the whole rest of the series. It really doesn't have a big payoff. And I thing. would love if actually they would just say, "Hey, you know what? Let's just throw that," and that never actually happened. <laughs> so let's just uh, let's, let's do, do it movie. again. Let's, let's do, do it movie. again. Fuck. <laughs> What is, second try movie let's do this i i wouldn't mind i would and it's not like they haven't i mean they did that to daredevil the opposite direction but they did that to daredevil and it worked fine they had a movie terrible didn't the, do yeah it. well when i watched this that i thought it was good but then well, there's not, well not not, people... not like terrible did terribly yeah in theaters it didn't sell well because of a lot of which is funny because it's one of the more accurate okay, movies comic thing uh they have Bullseye, uh, yeah. they have Electra. They right. even did, I'm surprised they did the Electra. Yeah. We'll out of that. That's, I was surprised too. And they I remember watching it and it was not that good. Either. The Electra movie is a little <laughs> soccer. But to be fair, once again, very comic accurate. The Electra movie, at least, at least to a point. Uh, very comic accurate. Brought her back. Has to fight, you know, these, uh, what was it, the hand or the... Was it the, no, it was like some other... It's than, another shadowy yeah. shadow organization. No, is it? I thought, I thought it was the... Man. I couldn't remember. It's it's tough to say. I won't because who owned stuff. did did they own the rights still then? Daredevil, Marvel. Things that got beat to your foreign. Uh, I don't know. I think it was Fox. Studio Fox owned I think the Fox so maybe did they didn't Daredevil. Have the maybe it wasn't though. It's, hands, it's tough to say. Hands. Same with Electra. Yeah, and that's where they also get mixed up is when they don't have the rights. Uh, that's one thing I will pop a spoiler in for season two, and it's only because it was it's kind of already floating out there. But Bloody Mary shows up in Iron Fist. So that was crazy. Okay. I thought that was mostly because it's like a Daredevil character. So I just was not... Everyone You're talking was talking ex- about typh- Typhoid? Yeah, Typhoid okay, Mary. That's her, that's her name too, though? I didn't know that was another yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her. her name is Typhoid Mary, Mary Walker. Uh, I don't know what her real So name. she like something Daredevil does, right? She like Yeah, was, she's, uh, the, she's, like, she, she's the one chick with like half white on her face. And Daredevil red hair. fucked up and had gotten her... Some, I read the backstory on her. There's, he's, he had a relationship with one of her alters or whatever because he wasn't able to tell the difference. That was a whole big thing is like... The split personalities between Mary are so split that even Daredevil can't tell they're mm. the same person by their heartbeat, which usually he's able to tell people by their heartbeats. But yeah, that's one big spoiler that I can give is that she's in it. Yeah, because they did already spoil that since the beginning. Like, oh, she's going to be in here. She's I just, I there. knew she was coming. I didn't know she was going to be in Iron Fist. Maybe I did and just kind of blocked it. I thought she was coming in season three of Daredevil. Uh, maybe she will. Maybe I mean, I'm sure she might. Pr- yeah, that, I'm wondering if they're setting her up for that, but I just don't know. It's it, It's not bad. No, okay. It's not bad the way they bring her in. Uh, it's I enjoy it. It's just one of those things where it's like I just don't know why they did this instead of doing it with Daredevil. He goes same as you got about three or four. Yeah, and like, humans. Like Luke, season, yeah, season. yeah. The team up in Luke Cage season two of Danny is amazing. Danny's actually much better as a character in this one. He's no longer just like when it's uh, once I have it. I have that memed in the first episode. I have a little meme where it's like. When you haven't told someone you're the immortal Iron Fist in 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but literally, like, he's no longer that Iron, you okay. know what I mean? And the 
realistically what you come into at the start of the season is Danny dealing with the loss of Kunlun, which we see in the Defenders that's right, yeah, and that's right. end of season one. Of, that's right. So I, my thing is they don't really even go into that. Oh, really? So they no. they're kind of just ignoring They're that gone. They're now. just gone. It's just no idea, I guess. I don't know. Wonder what, will they bring that into Iron Fist? Or is that going to be happening in Defenders? Or will they even do Defenders too now? I know, right? I'm not sure they should even. Because honestly, the first Defenders was a cool nod. But it um, didn't It didn't hit the needs that we wanted. And realistically, that team of Defenders is new. You know what I mean? So there's no reason to necessarily keep them together. Mm-hmm. As opposed to letting them do that. Like I said, I'd much rather, instead of doing that, see Heroes for Hire and Daughters of the Dragon than uh defenders Defenders two two, yeah uh Mm. what i could like i said i'd love to see what i'd love to see this evolve into new avengers they already have tons of the characters they're they're only missing spider-man and wolverine they want they uh supposedly there was a scene in ant-man where they had casey uh actually wearing a a suit and uh his daughter Really? Uh, yeah. See no, that no, wasn't in the movie. Okay, they cut but it they out. Cut it yeah, out. it was actually. I mean, seen, I'd like to see. Or not that. even cut. It was actually like been drawn out and everything. Oh, and it but was it like never him filmed. and his daughter like playing in like its small form and everything. And that's interesting. So well, that's why she does mention thing. that one scene where she's like, "Oh, your dad, maybe I could go fight with you one day." Yeah, and she's like, "I'd be your backup." Oh, I mean, don't that's laugh. Kind of where I, they have to that go. man, that was such a good movie too. Like people always undercut those movies because they're not the mainstays of the Marvel centered them, but Ant Man Two was. Good. Both emotionally and story wise, compelling. It. Like, there's so many good parts. So you said, like that one part. Oh, I guarantee you, anybody in the theater, it hit home where he's like, "Well, I could be your partner," and he laughs, and she's like, "Well, don't laugh at me." You know what I mean? Because we do. We do. Like, it's just one of those things. Like, they latch on to simple human things mm-hmm. and p- bring them back into the comic universe. You know what I mean? And I think that's good. They did this somewhat similar thing with Ghost in there where she has this big emotional... Yeah, but that, that's why she was um, getting disrupted or something. Right, right. And, and, you know, even all around with the mother thing. You know what I mean? There's a lot of, like, subtle uh, subtext in these movies that people just brush over mm-hmm. for the comedy. It's like, oh, yeah, world's best grandma. So funny. He says, why isn't JJ with Luke Cage yet? says fucking i don't know and i i don't know to be uh jessica jones oh so okay oh that is he out or or not with leo i'll say it like this one thing this jessica jones is such a far cry in many ways from the comic book jessica jones like she's very similar with her things but the way she deals with things is terribly terribly different than the original than the current jessica jones in marvel universe or even the original jessica jones it was it's just a way different thing it looks like they're tr- they were trying to play up the Luke Cage Claire thing, but I guess they dropped that and got rid of Claire, which I'm kind of glad of. I was not the biggest fan of Claire. Which one's Claire again? Nurse. Oh, nurse. Yeah. Nurse Claire. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which she's, she's from to be the a night nurse, right? Yeah, yeah. she's night nurse from the comics. Okay. And, and I think uh, that is her name in the comics. They just never say it. She's just the night nurse. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I de- I wasn't a big fan of her. One, she really pissed me off in Luke Cage season two. <sighs> I told you I haven't finished that one yeah, either. I told Leo that one. I haven't finished that you gotta one. Gotta get that one. That one's great, man. Bushmaster and that one is just awesome. I, I think I started episode one and I just haven't. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get on it. It's this... one of those ones where I love that season. That season, I liked the first season of Luke Cage, and that season was like I ten like times better. Because I don't like the fact that they keep doing this. We're like, oh, this is the main villain, and then like, no, we're just that. He had nothing to do with I, that. This, was so the only be... complaint I had though. They about did the, the same whole thing series. with Defenders. It was like Sigourney and Weaver, Fist. and it was they not Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> somebody else Electra. And then oh yeah was... they made Electra the villain at the but they end. did that in Iron Fist too yeah that's that's but just their they did that's... the same thing Iron Man 3 which oh my gosh I hated the worst thing apparently ever. there's like a cut scene in like a short film have you seen that I mean I haven't seen it either. oh yeah 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 with him right he like starts talking right short the Mandarin real Mandarin I yeah, want to see he oh, like, maybe I... we can get this played I do remember that all hail the king that's the clip you're not the Mandarin Slattery. You're not even a real criminal. Au contraire, Dave. When an actor has inhabited a role as long as I have, he often becomes it and it him. Uh, uh Mrs. Slattery, uh, me and the boys was just wondering if you could do, uh, do the voice. <laughs> Fletcher, it's not something I can just turn on. I'm not your meat puppet. Oh, very well. And you'll 
never see me coming. <laughs> oh, I told you! I told you he was gonna do it! I told you! I told you! Thank you! No, no, I you. Oh, that's not the one, though. Thor the Dark World? Why was that in there? <laughs> That's how old this is, I guess. Yeah, 2004. Wow. Yeah, that's not even that old. What the hell? Oh, uh, see, yeah, the Marvel one shot's way long. That's just one part of that. that those are like 10, 15 minutes. Man, I'll have to check that out. Hmm. But yeah, there's supposedly a one shot in the uh, in one of those that says the Mandarin's actually out there and hiding, and that that guy's like just just a cover for those. I would have liked if it was him better. To tell you the truth, but I, that's he all right. looked but good, I, but it wasn't. They screwed it. They screwed it up. And honestly, to be fair, I don't know how they were going to do the Mandarin. The ten spiritual rings of power that's bad, yeah, and that's the right. and the the whole ties into the scene. If you're going to do boom. that, you would probably have to set it up a little bit. Longer. A little bit more. They would have been having to set Mandarin up for a couple movies to be a, do a good Mandarin movie. The other thing being, as much as I know the Mandarin is a villain of Tony's and he's a good villain, like he really doesn't feel like an Iron Man villain. I kind of like it though, because like technology versus I magic. I like you know? that, but they didn't do that, yeah. right? And yeah. and then, like I said, in addition, how are you supposed to do that when Strange is your introduction to the magic world? Yeah. So it's well, a little maybe rough. That's why they didn't do it then. Maybe they I assume. Said, we'll but then why not? Doctor. Why not do the uh, God? You know what's his name? His rushing the Crimson Dynamo, or oh, yeah. uh, you know, let's get a like I said, the extremist would have been cool to do if you hadn't front faced it with the Mandarin, right? Mm -hmm. It would have been fine to do the extremist stuff. I it love just the really at the stuff. end, it, it just threw me off because I was like, Where did this guy come from? Now he just randomly is like, Oh, you know what? I was and wasn't it Hammer? Wasn't that the guy who was doing it? Hammer. I can't even remember. I can't. It was Iron even Man like a villain I didn't care ones. for because he like even changed form like into this lava. metal lava. What the yeah, fuck was it? I can't it, they were doing the whole extremist virus thing, but they were doing it very badly. First of all, the other thing is they would have been better off running the phalanx than the extremists. It just makes more sense. Alien tech invading and. But I mean, I, like I said, I could see it. The thing is, they didn't build it. They didn't make enough references to the original material and. Like, they were still figuring out their formula. Like, yeah, Iron Man 2 Iron wasn't Man 2 the was, greatest yeah. either. No, Iron Man 1 is remembered for being, like, the greatest, probably single original superhero yeah, origin story. I haven't watched that in a long it, time. I had to watch it a, a, maybe a year ago. I sat down. I was like, I haven't watched it in a while. And I watched it. I was like, I forgot how good this movie is. Yeah. Ten years later, this movie's just good. It's got good writing, good acting, good story, good emotions, good comic book references to like stain and everything i mean that's that stuff was it really was the perfect comic adaption at the time and since then they've kind of followed and improved upon that formula of taking from the comic universe without being bound by it yeah being yeah exactly right. the exact copy of it Just exactly which is good because that would be boring too if we knew exactly the story as comic book goers would how many people would I would, but would everyone still go? Would everyone? Probably not if they knew the story was going to be the exact same story. That's why I kind of like tough. Some people get angry. Oh, we didn't do exactly like this. Oh. I don't want it exactly. Uh, I want a good interpretation. Yeah. So, for example, Punisher. That is one of the loosest interpretations of the Punisher. They're, they don't the really other explain Punishers, his family too much. And like, no, no, because they come in and they, they murder his family inside his home, right? But that's not No, it go, wasn't like, that. Well, it was, like I said, it was different. Because... And it's weird because at most of the other Punishers are very comic accurate to a point. Uh, this one too. I do like the first Punisher. The first Punisher is great. I like that I, one. Well, not the first first Punisher, the 90. Oh, no, yeah, no, not yeah, with, yeah. Uh, not that not with what's his name. Uh, yeah, I can't remember his name. But the one with um, Long. I can't remember if I say his name. The guy from Rocky. I know you're talking about Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but, but yeah, the, the, the second technically Punisher, not Punisher Warzone, but the Punisher. Punisher was Warzone very was very brutal. And that, and that Punisher I like because that Punisher is based off Punisher Max. And it's such oh, an accurate... Oh, that's why they were more brutal in that one. Okay. Mm, I remember well, Max was being very... Very rough. And I mean, Max was down dirty, kind of Steve Dillon style. You know what I mean? Like, not only was it dirty Dillon, yeah. villainy, it was also like grimy as the this aspect of life. And it's one of where he meets one of his only recurring villains, the Russian. Uh, <laughs> the Russian is just a funny character. Because then he kills the Russian, and the Russian comes back as a cyborg with breasts. 
I digress. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it's one of those things. But like, that's what I liked. Even though he is not the same Punisher, right? The whole thing about him losing his memory and the thing. The basics of his story, him losing his family to crime, him being on a drive, him being a former military being, they added all this subtext and plot to it, which changed things, you know, as a hardcore, that'd be a little rough for me, but interpretation wise, it's perfect. That sets it in the modern age that sets him on a good, reasonable path. Why he wouldn't go back to police officer, why he wouldn't go, you know what I mean? To any of this because he can't trust the government. He can't. And more so, like I said, just the acting from Bernathal very much encompasses that kind of violent wildness mm -hmm. of the Punisher, the, the general disregard for life, I guess you would say, his own and others. Uh, and that's, I guess that sense of like lost hope. Because he did some great acting in season two of Daredevil. Like, I was never a big fan of him after like The Walking Dead or other stuff I I've seen really him. Cared for him it's Walking just he wasn't impressive acting. It wasn't. But the acting in The Punisher? I like it. It's and good. in the Daredevil season two? Good solid stuff solid enough that he's able to steal some of the spotlight from the main character you know what mm -hmm. i mean in, in his appearances um but yeah like the, the the interpretations don't have to be exact and if they were they'd be boring yeah and they wouldn't translate right that's the thing we're translating mediums and in order to do that you're gonna have to make some changes the same way you have to make changes if you're transferring to a weekly tv show that runs 20 seasons or whatever it's not gonna be the same it's gonna have to make different changes and like you said, how, how the Mandarin, I like it, but what what does that look like, right? Is that him shooting energy gleams like Thanos does from his from the gauntlet? Is that him doing so? I think they did okay. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I said, I would have liked to see the Mandarin, but their big mess up was just teasing it. Yeah, no one wants to be teased. Nobody. In the first place. They should have yeah. just, at the straight point, just said, this is our villain, and that's where we're going. Right. And, the, and, and even, like I said, it, it's, it's just... A slap in the face because you're yeah. just like i was really wanting him in there yeah, but now you guys like smack. he was just nothing. he was just a, he was nothing he was a lie <laughs> he was the cake like, literally the like the cake was a lie um let's see what else have we got going uh coming up uh, predator iron fist just came out uh let's see i told you the nun came out that was good, actually. I did enjoy it. That's good. I thought it was good. We do have Venom coming in a couple weeks, too. And that one, yeah, comes well, out. Well, the month. 13? And we have uh, Halloween also coming Halloween, in. Halloween. There's some which, good reviews are yeah, coming out. Yeah, so I'm excited there. for Halloween. Now, and then a lot of people don't like it. I liked the last Halloween that came out. I thought, even though it didn't follow With Rob Zombie. <sighs> I, didn't I like liked the second it. one. They were, he was, like, trying to do the ghost, and, like, it was his... I didn't was see like, the second one. Oh, I saw don't the first, watch the, the second. First Rob oh, Zombie you're talking one. about that one. That was good. That the was first good. Rob Zombie one. Good. I liked because he took one. He took a more realistic approach to it. Mm, that's what I liked it too. I think that's what I liked and it. And two, because it made end, him. He made him like a more serial killer. Like this yeah, well, it's he, like why does he get through? He's just serial. He's just ignores pain. He still can be shot down. And made him more and, like a real person can be. Exactly. Like in real life. That's exactly. What I liked it. And then at the end, they did the flip and brought him back to Superman. He gets back up. He's real because they do the second one. But don't obviously the, the second, second one. one wasn't that great. Don't yeah. watch it. Because <laughs> they, he does some weird crap about like his mother is bringing him. I don't think bringing him back, but like he sees his mother on like a horse and she's all white and like, uh, it's weird. It's That sounds really real weird. symbolic and too artsy. And you don't and want weird. that for a holiday. Yeah, no, horror film's like... not about being artsy. It's about being freaky and <sighs> scary and it weird. Was, yeah, I didn't like it. So it's like, yeah, I, I do recommend do not watch the second one. Alright, so I, <laughs> I, I won't, zombies. I probably won't ever check Unless it out. I mean, I never, to see I never even see heard of it, so I'm oh, just like, yeah, it, I, that's the thing, I don't even know, it must have been really bad, because I never even heard of it until yeah. like a couple years ago, or like a year or two ago, and I'm like, Oh, they came with the second one. <laughs> Wait, really? I thought the first. I I thought they they were gonna, but I just never heard about it. Like it never popped up. It obviously didn't do well, and so they wanted to keep it quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, because I like him as a director in many aspects, but there's he's also amateur. He, there's some yeah. things he does. It's like no. Honestly, like I said, like Halloween Salem, was probably uh, which, which being uh, I or didn't like that one. That was his good. Thousand Corpses. House of Thousand Corpses isn't good, bad, but, but that's because they're lo-fi horror. You know what I mean? And it's it's not bad it's just that's what it is it's easy it's an easier medium to work in mm -hmm. i'd say lo-fi horror 
uh, was really easy. Yeah, Salem Witches was not good either, though, yeah. for some reason. I think that's his wife, too, was playing the main ah, character. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, because he gets his wife to play a lot characters, of characters. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's, I mean, it's not, I, I, was, I would do the same thing, but I, I wouldn't do it at the cost of the movie, you know what she, I mean? Yeah, she yeah. is the main actor in the whole movie, and yeah, I was like, mm, I would do it if she was somebody worth it. Better. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> like, if she's good, then cool. If not, then, I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's that's rough. But oh well, like I said, I'm looking forward to the new one. It should be great. Who's who's directing the new one? Oh, sh- I don't even know. I I think John Carpenter actually has a lot of the say in this, though. I'd love to see who's doing it. New um, Halloween movie director. No, I don't want to go Rob Zombie's one. I want to know this. David Gordon Green. But it's written is. by John Carpenter. Yep, there oh, we no, go. No, it's only the characters. Jeff, oh. Jeff Bradley and a couple other people wrote, wrote the, the story. Script. Okay. Um, but at least so maybe back John James Carpenter didn't really have anything to say about it. I think the only thing he did say was that he was you know, glad they were going to do it and it looked like it was going to be good. Yeah, maybe I think he, he had some it. positive things uh, to say. And he might have even been on like production board or something. Maybe. It's just not. Those are the three main things up there. You know what I mean? And he could have even been a writer, but they are only charactering him as a credit character writer in this. So he's just Those are his characters. He's the yep. guy that made them. Which is, like I said, I'm, I'm happy they're bringing back Judy Greer and Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie, yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis like, is going to be good. That's awesome because that's continuity, right? If yeah, not, they're actually they're actually supposed to be ignoring... The last one, right? No, they're going to ignore three, every, four, five. I thought they were they're ignoring just starting everything after from two. four or something. I think they're starting after two. Man, I can't wait. We're going to have to look more up on that because there's a lot. There, I, there was something that somebody posted on saying that the timeline for Halloween is fucked right now. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I mean, to be fair, a lot of series are that way. Even mo- a lot of the Avengers Marvel stuff isn't up Because, like, far. this is supposed... Actually, you know what? You're right. This is supposed to take after... It's after the daughter thing, right? Mm, the one, yeah, where she... Where we thought she died, remember? Right, yeah. You think she died. You don't actually And then they that. actually think they show a scene, in a trailer where she actually lived. I, did we ever that... watch this trailer? Should we do another trailer yeah, run? Try. Let's do another trailer run, guys. And then uh, after we do a trailer run, we'll discuss a little. Yeah. And then after that, we'll do an artist spotlight. Sounds good. Yeah, but I think that's what they were saying, that it was supposed to continue off of the, not the H20, but, no, was it H20? No. I can't, which one? H20 is on Buster Rhymes. Yeah, that's, it's the one before that one. one. Okay, yeah, there we go. That they're coming up, I think. There we go. Yeah, I think you're right, that one. But yeah, somebody just, I was watching the video saying that the the timeline's just not right right now yeah, for good. everything all right so we're gonna do one more uh Low. video transition and hopefully they don't get us like they did last time hopefully not <laughs> uh, we're gonna do that uh, so we'll be back in just a sec trick or treat so my house is here which one should we go to they're all spooky i'm gonna pick that one over on the cross the street Forty years ago, on Halloween night, Michael Myers murdered three people. After that horrific night, he was sent back to the institution in captivity. to Haddonfield, his home. I need to protect my family. You have no security system, Karen. Mom, you need help. Evil is real. There's a reason we're supposed to be afraid of this night. I've been preparing for this for a long time. It is not safe to be on the street tonight. Michael! 
He's here. He is a killer. But he will be killed tonight. Happy Halloween, Michael. It does look very good. I think it's going to be really awesome. I Like I said, I, the reviews are already coming back for it really good so far. Um, so I'm excited for what they're going to do. I'm really this. excited. And like I said, it's good where they're, gonna, they're taking her character and they're growing her now. Instead right, she's her. no longer the scared Jamie Lee Curtis you saw in the last movie, running away, running away, running away. She's fighting. She's fighting back, which is good. It's, you don't, you know, like you said, they gotta have something. Everyone knows who this character is yeah, now. Yeah, so, so you like, gotta. We, can't, we don't want to see her being chased again. And... Yeah, it's like that was what they did a movie on. It. Let's do a new movie, right? Let's do a new movie where she fights back and maybe loses, wins, whatever. But <laughs> yeah, well, happen. then we were talking about it. Like, I feel like this has actual horror elements that sometimes are missed out, which is things like anticipation, mm -hmm. things like uh, unknown, right? The, the the, the unknown, I feel like, is a super big part of what makes things scary. Like, one of the scariest things about Jason and Michael is that they just get up. Yeah, they just get up and keep coming for no good reason. That's scary. That's because you're supposed to be able to put someone down. It's over. It's over. <laughs> and that was one of their original things. That's why they were just scared. Now they've had to jump it. You know what I mean? It has to be the same more. thing after that. Right. Like, you my can't mom always says, oh, we're going to make another one because he just came back to life at the end. I'm like, mm, yeah, probably. Probably. But. And at least Jason, they did, you know, bring back Jason from hell, some other this. And they took him to space. Yeah. And they... <laughs> but at a certain point, it has to be more. You have to have story and anticipation and, yeah. and, and, and involvement and development. So this is 10 years later. There's consequences. I feel People like this is going to happen story I, I like horrors that have a story i think, I think that but that that's why though i think horrors have to have plot because if there's no point no nothing then it then it is just a jump scare than it is because you have no emotional investment in these characters who cares if she dies she dies right? like nah, well, i don't care about her I like she's that when they put your time into your character right like, and oh, no yeah <laughs> and, and that's really does make those and enemies seem more like you know, how many times did the... I guess I haven't seen Game of Thrones, but I assume they, you know, they build Killed up this character. Yeah, but, but before, you had to build him up. People had to love him first. People had to care if you were going to kill him for it to be important. Otherwise, it's just another team getting skewered at a at a thing. No one cares. No one even knows his name. He was the stoner. Oh, he yeah. So they were, the only reason I got killed is because they were smoking weed or they were having sex. Yeah, it's like, all right, we've seen that. We're Let's killing them more. because they're doing unholy things. Right. <laughs> well, and sometimes he didn't even. He was just like, teenagers. Yeah, no. team, yeah. And it's just like, it's much better. And that's how it was for when the horror movies come in. It's in the 80s. It was a lot more for the teenagers. And oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't want to die. I'm only 18. That's what's going to happen to me. If yeah, I it's like, oh, I can't have sex But now drink. horror movies have evolved and they can't be like that anymore. No, they, they have can't. to have a story. They have to have... They have to be interesting and they have to... That's why I love Cabin in the Woods. Was that the one where he's writing? No, that's the one where they, they have Chris uh, Hemsworth in there. Remember, he like rides the motorcycle uh, and then he hits the wall. Oh, you uh, have, to have to watch, watch that it. movie. It's It basically it plays, it, it, what it does is it plays, I think it's kind of, I can't remember, but it's, um what it does is it plays on the horror tropes, basically. Like, right. There You have your stoner, you have your pretty girl, yeah, you have like your jock, scary movies, you have those. your uh, smart girls, I don't know if it says smart girl, but yeah, you have all these characters that are, you know, always... In a horror movie, yep. and basically the premise is that there's somebody behind this all who's setting it all up for all these horror scenes to happen, and then kind of like have the the Asian scar scary horror, you have like the more modern slasher horrors, or you have the zombies, and there's just some guys on computers setting it all up, like okay they're gonna die here and they have to open up this, or or there's this one scene where like you know how you're always saying like why the fuck are you walking over there? Why that's so dumb? There's a scene where they like spray something in their face and it just gets them all like. <laughs> I'm like, which oh. is great. That that sounds like it's awesome. I I haven't seen that one. Obviously, you gotta see just for that. Woods, it, just for that, it's really awesome. Sure, I know, 
I don't know if it was Cabin in the Woods. I don't think it is. It was Cabin in the Woods, if I remember oh. correctly, is a classic. Yeah, 2000. Yep, that is it. Yep, Cabin in the Woods. You should watch that. It's so good just for those kind of things. You're just like, that's awesome and funny, hilarious. But yeah, it, so movies, horror movies just aren't like that anymore. They can't, like you said, you yeah, know. you can't follow the same trope. You have good movies like The Witch. I mean, I like The Witch. The Witch was good. It just gets to me like that creepy stuff. Like they were talking to the goat, and the goat was actually Satan, and he like morphed into like a person. I don't think I've seen The Witch. Yet. Oh, you gotta watch The Witch too. There, That's another. The I don't want to say too much on that one either. There's a, there's a couple that have been good, and like they follow things. Like one of the biggest break through ones, which I hate because they broke through and then they decided to follow that freaking paradigm was the uh, goodness can't remember the name of it it's, about it's like spirits in the house or whatever. was it the others no it's that the one they got like too. they got like a five part series now. oh okay never mind it's it's time. like uh following the girl or whatever the little girl first it's like oh the house is haunted oh the little girl is haunted and it's so familiar it's it was super popular so remember the one where the ouija board catches on fire Yes, it is. I can't remember the name, but it was one of those ones where it's filmed like a Blair Witch almost. Oh, okay, so it was a, uh, what do you call them? Documentary. Footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found footage, basically. Mm -hmm. And it, it wasn't as Blair Witchy. It was like set in the house or whatever. It's super popular. It got super popular. It should be. I'm sure you've seen it, but I can't. It sounds familiar. Uh, it sounds literally like the others. Have you seen the others? I don't know. The others is the same thing where the mom and dad or the mom and kids are living in the house and they think they're being haunted, but really they're not because in actuality they're the ones who are dead. And <laughs> so it was really the living people they were hearing and stuff. Yeah, it's, that's a good movie too. Paranormal activity. Oh, duh! How did I not forget? I couldn't it? remember the what? name. I couldn't remember. Did you the finish the last name. one they did? No, the, the I one about it. I, it I looked good because it. it had the Santa Rio stuff or whatever. No, that was like that a was spin the spin off. Actually, that, 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 that one, they had one. the same name though. It was, it was the same. Yeah, no, it was that's why I said the one there. before that one. I think I didn't see. But there it. Is... I saw the first one. I'm not sure I saw the second one. And the thing is, this type of movie was great for its time good. because it brought back the Blair Witch stuff without the problems of the Blair Witch stuff. Grainy footage, bad filmography, you know. But at that, that time, it was big bucks for them because they didn't have to use those. Exactly. And same for this. They don't have, they use, they didn't have to use special cameras. The effects were a little better in places, but they didn't You can tell to. that when they started getting the three, four, and five. Yeah, they, they used started way using more special more. They did Especially more. the last one. Yeah, and I'm sure it's gotten over time more and more cliche, more... But the original one was good. No, it had was. a lot it of classic good. horror traits where you just don't know what's going on. Is it a demon or a ghost or is it real? You know, the board lights and the lifts. The big thing that got me though, and they need to not put it, is that they started with this was based on true events. And that's, and that's then a marketing the, tactic. It though. is, but then at the end, you have the actuality they have to reveal because they, if not, it's perjury. They have to reveal that it's not actually true events, not even actually based on true events. It's not wasn't. even <laughs> right, but that, but then they shouldn't have said so it's because true. it pulls it out like that. Immediately cut the film in half for me because it went from being not that I I knew it wasn't real. Yeah. Obviously, it's based on. But the fact that it's like, oh wait, some guy just kind of wrote this script up. It bring pulls a lot from that kind of horror culture of telling a story because i feel like that's a lot of what horror culture is is like telling a story an unbelievable kind of ghost or a thing and then it gets passed on and that realness of relation is what you kind of yeah, like the conjuring i love the conjuring I got, because oh bro if you haven't seen the conjuring you need to see that's the one with uh that's james that. wan that was because james wan did directed saw and that was his first first like good movie horror horror yeah and, so good. I've heard of the Conjuring. But the Conjuring, yeah, is it's based on true characters, uh, Edward and Lorraine Warren. Right, and it really helps. I mean, it doesn't have to be true. I mean, they're they were uh, they were even having some legal battle, I think, uh, because they couldn't use certain stories, and they actually ended up using it anyways. Oh, and then they got in trouble. Yeah, I think it was Annabelle, the one they got in trouble for. I don't know if I have. I think I... And, and the Annabelle doll is not even the same from the movie. It's actually a... Um, it's one of those... Like, not... Um, 
It's like a stuffed doll, and it had like the rosy mm-hmm. cheeks, orange kind of braided hair. Oh, yeah. kind of the and dolls. Bu- uh, yeah, and dolls. There we yeah, go. Yeah, the yep. and dolls. It was actually they're, one of they're those. basically made out of both socks and cloth. But yeah, and that's actually where the Annabelle dolls actually based. They actually, it's true. The whole room that, where that's it's the like thing, it's where the, they have they have the Annabelle doll locked in a case, and it says, "Do never open this that, case or touch." Or like, I, it's funny. I read an article about cursed objects recently, and it seems to be that back in the day there used to be a lot more or something. When I was a kid, I always hear about oh, you know, this and that. Or this. No, they just have to do no. and I wonder if, you know, maybe they disproved some, but I wonder if a lot of these cursed items, you know, just either end up lost or, you know, forgotten to time because no one touches them anymore. It's like, oh, yeah, everyone dies to touch that chair. No one touches the chair no more. <laughs> but what's good about James Wan's, uh, his movie was like, he did something different with the jump scares. He would do the scene right where it was instant, like, jump scare you know like i don't know how to explain it's like they, a, they build up to a jump scare. yeah yeah so what they did yeah, so they did you that. pull the music down yes. you, you make everything slow down the characters looking around they're aware they they make a point to make you know they're aware and then it happens they come through a the wall way he did it though is like ceiling. but the way he do is like okay say there was a there's a person right behind you and then it would just scroll around right but like you would see that the right behind them there'd be like there's no fucking way there'd be anybody behind them coming from here or anything i think that's what made it so scary is that there's a it couple was just that, right there yeah, and it, it, oh, wasn't, just, yeah and it doesn't build up and i love those now because they do those a lot more than the build-ups that they used to where it'll be close the mirror and suddenly bam right behind you no warning they were doing stuff like yeah no and like I said, used, it used to be that that scene was drawn out. You would turn off the music real low to a kind of... And I feel like music does have a lot to do with feeling, feeling that they're at the sink or something. Whereas I like the ones where, you know, the, the, they're like walking, someone just drops out from yeah, behind that's, boom. See, like It's a, not even surprising that's, it's big, but it's like, wait, what the... F-? Yeah, see you know that? What I mean? You like lean up, you're like... And his is more like... Right there, like, oh, he's exactly. just coming it's out like, of nowhere. You're like, okay. And, and I like those because it's immediate. It really is surprising. And you don't build to it. Mm-hmm. It's not the focus. It's just something that happens. It's just or he reaction. would make you think that it was going to be right. That's another thing he'd do. He'd make you focus on something and else. And see, that's but then a classic jump right scare. There. That, to be fair, that's a classic jump scare. Granted, they don't do it anymore. No. Like, you used to do it all the time where it'd be like, oh, well, we'll check the thing. And how they would do it is they would resolve it both musically and as a character. You would come up and he'd find, oh, it's just a bunny. Oh, okay. And then bam, he gets <laughs> taken out. Like, oh, 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 no. Like that, I feel like that's an 80s thing. Like 80s yeah. horror was big on that where you would be re- reassured. It's like, yeah, it's all good. Bam, oh my God. Freddy Krueger, a lot. <laughs> that's all the time, man. <laughs> and, and like I said, those were classics. Then you moved into the 90s and I think we cliched it to death. You know what I mean? You just did too many I mean, too much. You did okay. Because that was more like, this is an actual person. Right. Like, it was more realistic. You could be like, oh, this could actually, you know, someone that you're killing people as opposed to some killer who enters your dreams or is unkillable it was more of like no people are crazy or a doll yeah or a doll yeah chucky i mean they've done everything at, at the end of the 80s beginning of the 90s they they always make the joke of seven king and family guys like what are you gonna do now uh this lampshade comes to life and eats people <laughs> and it's like all right yeah no oh she's saying statics on the audio a little bit Ooh, that's a good cue. Let me see if I can play this a little bit, yeah. Oh, I can hear it just a little bit. Yeah, it's not too bad, though. It's probably just the... It'll probably, hopefully, that'll fix it. Resolve a little bit. Yeah, you know, it's good to let us know. Always, yeah, yeah, You never know like sometimes. We do test before, but then... But in, in ag, our, our process, a lot of stuff can change. But yeah, I mean, everything's going pretty good with horror movies. I think horror movies are kind of still doing really good, relevant. Like I said, The Nun was pretty good. Um, wasn't like my best, best horror movie, but it was still enjoyable. It kind of connected like all the Conjuring movies now together. And um, yeah, yeah, I thought everything was good with it. That's good. Um, so I hope they kind of go for it. Well, I don't know if they could still kind of do more. I guess they could, because they do want to do... They have, like, a couple of... The, it's like almost like a cinematic it, universe right. for them, because they have their own characters. They have this nun character now. They have right. the Right, and Annabelle that's the doll. thing. Once you have a universe, you can continue making things as long as it's within the realm, right? Like, that, that's the thing. And you have to stop eventually. Yeah. So you got... Or change, right? Uh, I'm trying to think of a big example, but, like... All right, like, Star Wars is finally doing it, where they're finally pulling away from the Skywalkers. 
They should have done that since the beginning. Well, they should have done that since the beginning of this trilogy. Yeah, they should have. They should have ended it on the first movie and just said, "Okay, we're done with the Skywalker family, and this is where we're going yep. now." Yep. But honestly, I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have mind. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if in Episode Seven, Luke, Leia, and Han had died. I would have been That'd much be happier because it would have been a much. But like I said, the big thing is people were, people were mad at Episode Seven because it was different, or no, because it was the death of Han, and it was, it's like, and then they were mad at 8 for the exact opposite reason, and the same reason, it's like, you can't characters die, way. characters yeah. don't li- last forever, Yoda dies, this isn't Bygone for Jin you dies, guys anymore. Ben this is kind of yeah, for it's the like, 50 years, people. no one cares, like, it's, and it's sad to say, no one cares about you, you spent all your money, not all, but you spent all the money we needed from you, now we need their money. <laughs> exactly. It, that's, that's realistic, it's like, alright, you guys are 60, 70 years old now, if you, like, Said if you These went at ten like years no old <laughs> in seventy whatever seventy six or whatever seventy three, whatever it was, that's f- almost fifty years ago. So you, if you saw the original Star Wars in theaters, you're old. Yeah, that's it. You're minimum forty fifty years old <laughs> if you can remember. So guess what? It's moved past you. It has. There are more youth now than there were ever any number of you guys. That's how population density moves up. There are no now more millennials and Gen X kids than there ever were people watching Star Wars. And they are a market. They're an avid, respected market. They're going to have to market towards them yeah. and not you. And I don't think they get that. It's like not everything is going to be done to your liking. Yeah. I mean, there's I mean, yeah, there's just all this hate for... I think the internet, too, helps a lot for people to kind of spread their... Their hate? Yeah. Their hate yeah. <laughs> I like... said there's so much hatred on the internet where it's like, you know that we could do... they do a lot of stuff if we got rid of that hate, yeah, but it's fine. Because, like I said, they let it hurt them because, all right, all that hatred bounced back on Solo. All that hatred's going to bounce yeah, back on sucked. episode three. It was a good movie. It was pretty... I mean, I liked it. It wasn't I, the best. It was like a seven out of ten. And I didn't think I was going to like the Solo actor. Honestly, yeah. actually yeah. ended I up being pretty good. Yeah. I, honestly, like I said, I wasn't expecting nothing from Solo. I, I was expecting mediocre at best. I like the scenes with him and... Um, Calrissian, yeah. yeah. Uh, Danny Glover. Yeah, yeah. I like they those did. scenes. Danny Glover fun. does a great... Lando Calrissian is a young age. Yeah, he was really suave. Really... He, well, he took the attitude on too. And too. I see you. Mm-hmm. You know, the smile, the, mm-hmm. the swag and confidence, like you said, but also something about that trickiness and that... Uh, oh, yeah. We that kind playing of playing the cards. Oh, now, yeah. Right? That that was great, especially later when he lost and all that. was uh, <laughs> super fitting. I was waiting for that. That was a great karmic justification that later on you're like, yeah... Uh, let's see, still probably have more static. Oh, I can't Leo. hear now. Audio really low, but everybody saw the original movie and people really liked it. Yes, Jedi. All right, yeah. Let me pump it up a little. Pump, pump up, up the up. volume. Let me pump it 13. That should be more than enough. Let's see. Go ahead and say pump up Hello, the volume. can you guys hear us now? That probably, that's better now. Hello, 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 the world. Hello. Oh yeah, you can hear me. More decibels and hope for the best. He he said uh, Leo said he had um. Static, nope, not here. The static. Yeah, Donald Glover, not Danny Glover. Oh, Danny Glover. Glover. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, Leo said he had, uh, uh, yeah, I know you're talking about the guy from. Uh, isn't that from Predator too? Nope, not here. Static. Yeah, Donald Glover, not Danny Glover. Oh, Danny Glover. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, Leo said he had. Uh, yeah, I know you're talking about the guy from. Uh, that's good, but. <laughs> static is uh, isn't that from Predator too? Yeah, Donald Trump, not Danny Glover. Oh, Danny Glover. Danny <laughs> Glover. He's, he's okay. uh, Leo said he had, uh, uh, yeah, I know you're talking about the guy yeah, from. Uh, pretty good for us. That's good. Oh, we'll probably have a six point nine. Uh, on that note, I think we're gonna oh, yeah. end it with yeah. the artist spotlight. At which point we'll uh, sure, we're gonna yeah, just about an hour or two yeah. into our cast. So yeah, so that's about where we're doing our thing. Uh, we'll fix up the audio stuff later, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna do a real quick artist spot artist spotlight for uh, one of our 
I guess, co- acquaintances slash friends that we met at Comic-Con. Uh, Frankie Serna, who's kind enough to give us some prints, uh, as well as talk with us and give us an interview that we're still working on getting out of the oh, files because it had the uh, had to fix the video file footage, hopefully. Uh, and we'll release that, as well as our interview with Scott Redding. Uh, we're still also working on that hardcore casual stuff. But yeah, so hopefully we're going to show you probably four or five minutes of his stuff, at which point the cast will end. And uh, we'll see you next week, guys, because... Uh, or maybe the week after, we'll see exactly. But hopefully more stuff coming. We'll have a Predator review next week, maybe. Or maybe an Iron Fist uh, season review or something. I don't know, like just a... Not a spoiler, but a okay. critique. You yeah, know, it's like, hey, this... Because I still haven't even finished the whole Iron Fist. So. Mm-hmm. Nice. But yeah, thank you guys, and thanks for watching and tuning in. Uh,